Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Welcome back to the greatest show on earth, Famous Fortunes, with your host, Lord of the Tea, Lord Famous Fortunes. I hope you're well. Let's uh, get into today's episode because we're going to be talking today about the Body Language Guy's latest episode where he's heard a rumor, some juicy goss, that he could be on a, on a potential Sussex uh, or, let's say, Montecito hit list. Uh, for a lawsuit at some stage. Well, okay, we're going to find out today exactly what's going on. I hope you're well. Uh, big shout out to uh, Katrina for supporting the Lord Famous Fortunes Tea Fund. I very much appreciate it. Uh, today, I'm actually having tea. I'm having tea with goji, gynostemma, and goji today. I'm not sure if you can see in the pot, but uh, there are some gojis in there lurking beneath the surface that I can tell you. Uh, Quite nice, actually. Goji and gynostemma tea. Let that be known, folks. Let it be known. Cheers to you. Hope you all enjoyed the episode with Panda. What a treat that was. What an absolute treat. So let's let's dive in. And first of all, the question needs to be asked. Are they actually... Is there actually a hit list with the body language guy's name on it? Jesus Enrique Anglacius. We will find out today on Famous Fortunes. Let it be known. Let's get into it. Is he on a Sussex hit list? Cards are hot. Look at this, five of coins, underlying energy. The Hermit, the Prince of Wands, Prince of Wands, We'll get to it. Well, I'll talk more about it, but uh, it is the calling card of Prince Harry himself, so let that be known, all right? Let it be known. The star, ooh, the star wears bike shorts and a crop top. The seven of coins, ooh, very interesting. And the nine of swords, okay, so. Ah, interesting, okay. So this may be, this Prince of Wands may be a little bit of a clue here as to who's really upset with... Uh, uh, the body language guy, who's really upset with him, because I'm not seeing, we'll, we'll, we'll investigate more in a moment, but for the for the first sort of, my first look at these cards, I would say it's quite clear that Harry is the one that has the biggest bone with the body language guy, which is interesting, but I mean, let's be honest, it's been pretty savage, <laughs> it's been pretty savage on Harry, so what can I say, um, he's kind of, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes him look, you know, like, you know, it, it, I guess it shines, a, like it holds a mirror to him. Let's say that. Let's say that. All right. It is what it is. Uh, and it, it's it's pretty clear from these cards that Harry has the problem. Now, the seven of coins here is kind of like reviewing, watching, waiting, seeing how things develop, keeping an eye on it. You know, that's kind of the energy here. But it's not just keeping an eye on it. It's actually quite quite upset <laughs> quite upset reviewing it you know stressing him out really I'm, i'd say this card probably pertains to harry i'm not seeing a lot of megan here we'll ask about how she, how she feels about it in a moment um wouldn't be surprised if we saw the high priestess but what i'm seeing now is that he's keeping a, a, an eye on it he's reviewing it watching it and it's it's causing him uh it's it, it's upsetting it must be some things there that are a little bit sort of um I don't know, touching a bit close to home, I'd say. They kind of, they really are, I don't know, having an impact on him in a way. Like, it's it's not just something he can dismiss. There must be, it, it, you know, maybe there's truth in it that uh, he's kind of very uncomfortable with. I'm sure maybe he won't admit that or at least feel that way uh, outwardly. But it's, you know, I would say that the star is a pretty strange card to have here. The star is a pretty strange card to have. Now, I, I would, I would going to read this as such. I think that the star represents the body language guy himself, or at least his platform, or what he's doing, or that type of thing. That he's, he is in their mind, at least in the probably the YouTube sphere, or at least that type of new media type thing. The kind of key, the the, the number one name. Let's say I, I would say that if there was a, a list in descending order, it would be the body language guy at the top. He is the one that seems to be 
the focus of at least Harry here, but, it, you know, you could extend that to mean both of them. But I would say that he's the one that is the star of the, the YouTube show at the moment, at least, and is the one that is getting the most attention and, you know, hence why that would be the case. The Hermit is an interesting card as well because he's kind of... Harry is bringing... Harry and Megan are being brought into the light by the body language guy. He's, he's, he's kind of like, you know, the body language guy is kind of like Yoda, right? Or Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's kind of shining a light on subtle things here, arcane truths of body language. And that is, it must be irritating, <laughs> okay? It must be irritating because he's shining a light that no one is shining with that level of visibility. You see what I'm saying with the star and the hermit, the Prince of Wands? It's, it's shining a light on it with that level of visibility that is uh, agitating, let's say, to them. So this interesting, this five of coins here is... What is the next underlying energy before I really jump into it? Yeah, okay. So he's, again, shining a light, making things apparent that... Things are not well with them. All is not well. He's shining a light, exposing. The key word here is exposing with the sun, exposing how things are not. It's not all good in the Montecito hood, all right? It's not all good. There's a lot of, you know, things that when you point them out, hard to unsee, right? Hard to unsee. And he's there pointing them out. It's not just political analysis or some type of thing like that. He's pointing out really biomechanical things that are uh, illustrating the true, I guess, um, five of coins nature of what's going on behind the scenes. And that's what's stressing so much. That is the, the source of stress here, uh, is the underlying energy here is exposing those things that are upsetting to them, upsetting to them. All right, so is he on a hit list? Yeah, he's not He's not on the hit list. He's like number one on the list, at least of the YouTubers anyway. I think he's. this is the this is the key card here. I'm sure there may be others. I'm sure the Daily Mail's like one to 10 more lawsuits. You know, you know what I mean? Associated Papers or whatever. One, I don't know, whatever it is. I'm not quite sure the company name, but you know what I'm talking about. It's the Daily Mail, one to 10. Um, I'm sure that there's, I don't know, other lawsuits that they're keen to get their hands on at some stage, but in terms of at least this sphere of operation, the body language guys, numero uno, but let's find out, are they actually going to sue him in the future? Let's ask that question, because we may not get a direct yes or no, but we're going to get a flavor here come through on the cards, so let's see what kind of flavor we get. Is are Harry and Meghan actually going to sue the body language guy? I don't know what for, I mean, that'd be an interesting thing, but frivolous lawsuits, you know, it might not be the first time a frivolous lawsuits ever happened, so, I mean, let that be known. Let that be known. So many hairs around still from the last episode. <laughs> Let that be known. Panda. Is there is there going to be a lawsuit in the future? Well, this is going to be a very, very interesting spread. Cards are hot. Look at this, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, there's no definitive answer. That's probably what we're going to get. Uh, the Hierophant. The Tower card. The Seven of Cups. The, again, huh, the Seven of Coins. And the Prince of Pentacles. Uh, okay, so again, it's this idea of watching and waiting, watching and waiting, viewing. I mean, they're, they're watching every episode by the look of it here. There's a lot of watching that they're doing, and there's a lot of uh, reviewing, and there's a lot of eyes on it. And, you know, I, I, I've, I've said this before. Everyone wants to know what they do, you know, all day, every day, because we know it's an hour. They work an hour, right, for an art troll or whatnot. Um, I want, yeah, I mean, it's an hour. What can I say? It's a, it's a long time to work every week. Uh, the 
the key here is that everyone wants to know what they do during the day. It's, it's fairly obvious. They get up, they read the sun, they read the times, they read the, you know, the daily mail, have it flown in probably on a private jet. And then, <laughs> and then they get to YouTube, right? <laughs> they go down the list. <laughs> they go down the list of channels and they see what people are saying about them. And that would probably take quite a while. It took a few hours to get through all that. But, you know, that's kind of what we're seeing here. A lot of watching, a lot of reviewing, a lot of, you know, umming and ahhing, that type of thing. But, you know, the Wheel of Fortune here, it's out of their control. There's the, there's not a lot a lawsuit's going to do, but that's pretty much what I'm seeing here. It's not a lot a lawsuit's going to do. Mm, the Hierophant and the Tower is interesting. It's... You know, it's what the body language guy is doing is, you know, he's he's become the expert, if you like. He's become the hierophant of body language on YouTube for the royals and for others, perhaps. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. He's become the hierophant card. So he's kind of, you know, the, the expert there. And what he's doing is devastating, devastating to the Sussexes. Uh, so that's what those two cards represent. But this is them watching, waiting, taking it very, very slow. But again, the, this is probably, again, going back to the first card we've pulled here. This is the um, underlying energy. And it says that things are really outside of their control. And it's, yeah, I mean, it's, I'd say no. I'd say there's going to be no lawsuit based on what I can see here. Uh, it's it's It looks like the forces of nature are against them for a lawsuit. Let's just say that. The, the energy flow is against them and not for them. Uh, so that's, there's that. Um, let's ask, what is, what does Megan think of the body language guy? Let's, let's just dive in here. We've had a bit of kind of insight into Harry, but where is she in all this? Does she want to take on the body language guy in court? Where is she at? Cards are hot. Nine of wands, three of wands, ace of cups, three of swords, four of cups. Underlying energy, the king of pentacles. Okay, so she's a viewer. She's a viewer as well. And she is... I mean, you could say here this is embarrassment. She's embarrassed by what's being said what's being seen, what she sees. It's not, you know, you could feed this into a larger picture as well. It's, you know, one of those things about she probably didn't expect it to turn out this way, just in general. And I'm not talking about the body language guy specifically, but just in terms about everything that's being, you know, everything that's being seen, <laughs> everything that's out there uh, wasn't what was expected. I'm fairly sure that's probably stands to reason as well if we thought about it. Did she really think this would how it you know, how it was going to turn out. This is interesting here, this Ace of Cups. There's a time, I mean, there is disappointment here with what she's seeing. There's, you know, there's a little bit of pain here as well, pain, disappointment. It's not anxiety. It's not stressing her out like we saw with Harry, but there's, there is a bit of sort of, you know, it's it's uncomfortable. Let's just say that. It's, it's uncomfortable. She's a bit bitter about it as well perhaps, uh, but the Ace of Cups is kind of an interesting card here because, I mean, okay, so they did speak on, uh, and the body language guy did mention, I'd be open to meeting them, <laughs> he did say that, I thought that's a curious thing to say, I don't know how many YouTubers would want to meet them, I don't know how many people would want to meet them. I don't know, but, uh, you know, why am I bringing this up? Because uh, uh, does, does Megan want to, like, I don't know, meet him or extend her hand, you know, even metaphorically to him? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's a curious, curious card, and it was a very curious thing the body language guy said. Um, what would they talk about? <laughs> would it be on camera? I don't, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but it's quite strange. This King of Pentacles is 
a reflection, you know, just changing gears here. The King of Pentacles is a reflection here on Megan's um, perception of the body language guy. Someone who's doing it for money, basically. That's kind of what it means. And that's an honest interpretation. And, I mean, fair enough, I suppose. You know what I mean? That's not a judgment or anything like that. But that's kind of what she thinks about it, which is interesting if you think about it um, in that regard. But this card is very, very curious. Would Megan be open to meeting the potty language guy? Am I interpreting this right? I mean, uh, let's let's throw some cards. Would she be open to meeting him? Cards are hot. King of Swords. Three of Swords. High Priestess. Ace of Cups again. Seven of Cups. Two of Swords. Okay, bizarre. I mean, bizarre. Now, I think she's... I th it's a strange reading because the underlying energy is m sort of more of a no, but then you've got here the high priestess as well. So it's sort of, she's quite, doesn't really care for him that much. I don't think she would care to meet him. Um, there's also, there's a king of swords here and a three of swords. So it's sort of, I don't know. I mean, it could be a lawyer. There's something, but again, we're coming up here with this ace of cups. There's a sort of offering. There's this offer here on the, there's, there's this offer of, I mean, we have a peace dove on here, which is strange. It's some something. There's something here, and I can't quite put my finger on exactly what this is. Um, it, it's there's something there. I don't know, I don't know what it is. There's something there, and maybe maybe the body language guy knows more about this than we do. So there's that. I'll put it. I'm just going to put it on him now because I have no idea. But it's open to possibilities here, open to possibilities of meeting, something like that. I mean, it doesn't look like she's in an awful hurry to meet him, I mean, obviously, but open to some possibilities here, open to something, open to something. I don't know what that something is. Ah, strange, strange. She could be looking at options. She could be looking at options because, you know, you have an extreme here of perhaps this is a lawyer, but then you've also got this offer, if you like, something along those lines. It's very strange. It's very strange indeed. What can I say? What can I say? Will you receive a cease and desist letter? A final question, bonus question. Could be, uh, I don't think that would be represented by the Ace of Cups though. I, think, I don't think so. Let's, will you receive a cease and desist? Possible with the the Seven of Cups there could be the AI. It could be the AI there. That could be the bugbear that's represented by that sort of Seven of Cups. Possible. Very possible. It's kind of the internet card in many ways. It's abstract, but that's kind of what it is. Cards are hot. Will there be a cease and desist letter? Ah, oh, the Ten of Coins, the Hierophant. King of Cups, Four of Coins, Prince of Swords, Six of Swords. Maybe. It's a possibility with the Prince of Swords here, maybe. And he, it looks like the body language guy will sit tight. It looks like he'll stand firm on that. He won't uh, buckle by what I can see here. So I don't know what... Cor no, he must have talked to his lawyers or the rest of it. He must know what he's doing. Uh, but there may, there may be... This is a possibility of them being some type of correspondence coming in. Uh, some, you know, 
some correspondence. That could be explaining the, the Ace of Cups that we've seen twice now. It's not necessarily that she wants to build a bridge, but maybe she'll just sort of throw something on down on the table through a lawyer, which is what we saw in the first spread. It may be, there may be some correspondence. So it's it's certainly possible. Now, will it be a, like a lawsuit? I don't think so. Not from what I've seen, but it looks like there may be some correspondence possibly, but it looks like the body language guy will sit tight on that. Hold firm, if you like. Hold firm on that. So, I mean, if you look here, the Hierophant, this is the body language guy. Uh, and the King of Cups is like his counsel. So he has someone here, as a man by the look of it, who's counseling him and is very knowledgeable in this field. So that's what it looks like to me now. I don't know. It could be, could be off on that, but it does look like that's what's happening. It looks like they're going to stand firm. So let that be known. Uh, very interesting reading today. Very interested to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. And I'll see you in the comments.